I know what you're thinking. Who brings a baby to an anti-abortion rally? Well, the answer is my parents. And that screaming ball of joy is me. I grew up in a fundamentalist Christian town called Redding, California. We're learning about John 360. Matthew, make sure you're in bed by 8 o'clock. It's a school night, and God doesn't want you to see the horrible things we're going to see. He has a greater plan for you. What were you thinking, Luke? What? You were supposed to be home two hours ago to look after your brother. This reminds me of a song. Sorry. And it goes a little something like this. Shit. <sighs> oh, yeah. Block channel. That's my favorite show. What else? Block channel? God said, go for me. And. Uh, what? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, relax. Okay? You know what? Sometimes you just gotta say, fuck the rules. I didn't realize how strict my parents were until they kicked my brother out. Who knew a little bag of marijuana would be such a big deal? Love thy neighbor, or he part of it for that reason. <sighs> Maddie, look, just everything's gonna be okay, right? Whatever you do, don't you dare listen to those closed minded bigots. Losing my brother made me never want to question authority. Now let's flash forward to freshman year. We can live in a world without homosexuals the way God intended it to be. Believe it or not, this was actually a normal day at my high school. This is my best friend, Esther. We'd most likely get married and live a life of ministry. If it wasn't for one little issue I was dealing with, Five, my parents made their view on homosexuality very clear to me. Mom, Dad, why does God hate gays? <laughs> According to my father, the answer to my question was 20 lashes with a leather belt. Right? That we can and we will do God's work. Yeah. It should be great. When we're all standing in San Francisco tomorrow, Hold your signs proud and know that together we can cure the gays! Hey kiddos, you for coming. You're using the buddy system today. You know what that means? Buddy stays with ya. Fat! We gotta go, the bus is about to leave. That's true. I don't have an umbrella. I got homework. Matt, today isn't about us. Today we are missionaries. Do you think I couldn't take it anymore? I had to tell her. No. Here goes nothing. Esther. I think I'm gay. <laughs> what? Not exactly the reaction I was looking for. Oh wait, here it comes. Why would you want to think that? I don't want to be gay. I don't want I don't want God to hate me. I will make sure that you get healed. 
God wants me to heal you. Esther prayed for me every single day. Help Matthew heal and help him repent his sins and destroy these awful demons that are causing these horrible homosexual thoughts. In your holy name we pray, amen. Do you feel any different yet? She didn't stop praying, but in the meantime, she helped cover up my gay feelings. Like the time I had to go to an all boys camp and she made sure I was too sick to go. It seemed like any time I even looked at a boy, especially those jocks from the football team, she would do her best to help me snap right out of it. She even got me out of wrestling in gym class and the possibility of a humiliating boner. Are you ready? No. One, two, three! I couldn't keep abusing myself to fit in. There's one thing I knew for sure. Being cured is not as easy as it looks. Matthew. Your mother and I have been talking and we want you to come to San Francisco with us tomorrow to protest some uh, homo parade. <coughs> you guys do? Well, we feel bad. You missed the bus for your mission trip. We thought it'd be nice to go together as a family. Got an extra sign for you. And you can wear this. Thanks. You're welcome. So it's good to see a new face here. I'm Isaac. I'm Matthew. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, looks like a pretty good turnout. Wow, you're so brave to be out here at such a young age. Thanks. I didn't come out till I was 19, but the fact is, God made me this way. I find it hard to believe he'd create me just to hate me. Have a sticker. Sorry. It's okay. Wait, Matthew. Words cannot express the relief of meeting real gay people. They didn't seem like horrible, corrupt sinners. In fact, they were nice, friendly. And some of them were even Christians. whole night, I couldn't help but imagine what it'd be like to live in a place where I could be myself. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Um, it's, it's Matthew. 
brother. Matthew? I'm really glad you came. What's going on? This might sound weird, but just listen. I want to move to San Francisco. What? Well, my brother lives there, and you said I can move in with him. It's only three hours away, so you can come visit, like, whenever you want. But you're not cured yet. Well, Esther, I was kind of thinking I'm not the one that needs the curing. What about your parents and the church? You're just going to leave that all behind. You're the only one I care about in this place, and the second my parents find them gay, they're going to send me to some, some camp to try to cure me. I got to go. I can't just give up. You can still change. I really hope I see you again. I approached my parents one last time, just ready to tell them off, ready to tell them that they're nothing but bigots and hypocrites and all they do is spread hate. But then I realized there's no point. So I just said one thing. Goodbye. Going to Esther's? Be home by 10 o'clock. He wasn't ready at that point to... Look, I may have had a brave face on at the time, but deep down, I was terrified. But sometimes, you just gotta say, fuck the rules.